<laughs> Welcome to Tech Talk. This is a long overdue segment because my friend here, my Tech Talk guru, has been missing in action, I think. Well, he blames me, I blame him, but anybody, everybody uh, knows Adam Oldfield from FPM3. Adam, Craig? great to have you back here. Thank you. Just you and me one on one talking about things that are. Geeky in nature. And techie, for that and matter. Techie. And techie, yes. yes. And how it relates to business. And yes. you know what? I mean, lots of exciting things have happened since we last sat down. We yes. talked about, you know, it's funny. We look back, if we if you go back to Tech Talk from where it was and some of the things we were talking about, it's like 1980. I, I mean, we're almost like talking about the, remember the Atari 2600? <laughs> and then when the big 20... That's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't keep up with technology. But we're back and we got lots of really cool yeah. things. In, and really, some of them are a little far-fetched. And we're going to talk a little bit more about, you know, where we are today with business and technology. So the first... Beam me up, Scotty. Let's talk about this. This is crazy. Yeah. So we know the segues where you're on the little motors. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Now we're going to strap a 15-inch monitor on that bad boy, put a sound system on the front and the back and some sensors on it that actually can register how far and how close someone's within a proximity of it. And we've got ourselves your new retail agent. So this new thing, Beam, that just came out in California, it's going to be basically uh, you sign in from your living room or wherever you're at and you can now see through the screen just like a Skype monitor but now you can monitor and move this little m machine that looks like a robot running around a uh, retail outlet or say you're in a factory and you want to do a spot check you can now sign in and walk around or zoom around the factory it, it has everything you need it automatically backs up and charges into this little uh, charging station this could be the next future of where we would take retail to a new level. That's interesting because I think I saw a documentary on uh, on a uh, uh, Spurlock Spurlock mm -hmm. uh, yeah. on uh, CNN, and he talked about that. And he actually bought himself one. They're about nine thousand yes. dollars back then, and he actually leaves it in his office because he's out of his office so often. He leaves it in his office, and he now attends all of his meetings back at work. Well, and this is what they're claiming is now you can be in multiple places by simply signing in even from your iPad, your, your mobile phone, or, or your Android. or How maybe, cool is that? And, and it really is kind of, it's a little scary. I mean, we look at technology and go, oh, come on, that's out of control. But if you think about it, it would be absolutely fantastic from the sake of you want to work from home, but you yeah. want to be customer service. You could sit dormant. It sends a signal directly to your phone that you got a customer inside. You can now cater to that individual. Yeah. easily to be able to walk up and say how may I help you yeah. and I'll tell you the future we've talked about before is this whole warehousing thing which we've done amazon.com yeah. yeah. and you know the we've heard about the unfortunate news with Target and future shop and yeah. retail is not dead it's just changing yeah. and I think we're gonna see a lot more online purchases in this country in Canada uh, get and grow as they are in the US well you're gonna have a warehouse environment where you can actually go in so imagine you arrive and you walk through the door of a big warehouse with locker rooms and all of a sudden it's it notifies you to say, oh, someone's there to pick up a package. You sign in and your beam walks up and goes, hello, welcome to our warehouse. Um, may I get your code, please? You scan in your number? Sure thing. Let me escort you down to your uh, to your locker. So you take them down to where you purchased your item from Amazon.com. Mm. Try it on, sir. Did you like it? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. I need to return it. Not a problem. Put it back in. I'll set up the information. We'll have it all taken care of for you. Uh, Thank you. Have a nice cool. day. Okay, back to my turkey dinner. So, I mean, it's... <laughs> We're getting efficiencies up to a whole new level. Ladies and gentlemen, I think someday I'll be doing tech talk here with a monitor. <laughs> You'll have one and I'll be like sitting in the back just kind of talk. It's pretty revolutionary. I think so. that's going to be cool. Speaking about bad boys, yeah. how about this little bad boy that I introduced you to this afternoon? I love it. It's absolutely amazing. It's 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 got the keypad. It's got a Windows tablet. It's got the stylus. Runs off the Windows 8.1. Yeah. And what's really neat about this is that it, it it's the Windows version of which, you know, an iPad, I hate to use the two comparisons, but it's very convenient and connects with all of your Windows applications and very seamless. I've had a chance to type on it. I've had the chance to use the stylus mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, you know, again, my only recommendation is, of course, the browser, which yeah. I did get to play with it in yeah. your office a bit. Um, the browser, I did say, is that Explorer has announced that they're not going to be servicing or updating mm -hmm. as many updates. So it's still coming with their, with their server additions. So uh, on the corporate level or on the high level they're still gonna have explore yeah. but this is one thing is the first uh, what I really love about this particularly is that we've got this as a Cambridge company yeah 
Right? I mean, right here in Canada. Right here in Canada. I yeah. mean, how often do you get to say yeah. that? Yeah. So that's one cool thing about it. But the other reason is that it's also got the ability to do everything you need. MV yeah. Mobile has the keyboard. It's not a Bluetooth, which I loved. It just yes. connects straight in. And so you get a lot of, you know. You, you seem to think it was pretty quick for a tablet. Too. You know what? It's extremely fast. I was com I was actually surprised at how fast it yeah. truly was. But most of our devices, as we are, that's why we gave it some time. We gave technology a chance to yeah. catch up. But as <laughs> I love the tablet. It's got everything you need, and for the cost price point, yeah, it's three forty nine retail right here in Cambridge. You can get it, and so it's all loaded up with eight point one professional it's, and Office yeah. too. So you get all the amenities you need. Fila, and it's Fila is the brand. Uh, they've been around for a few years now. They make all kinds of devices, but they're really concentrating on the tablet uh, market right now, and and predominantly in the educational field. So. Uh, you never know, your kids might be coming home with a Fila tablet someday. Well, it, it's actually advantageous for a lot of businesses too. Yeah. I mean, like if you need to connect back at the office, that, I mean, we're all becoming mobile. I yeah. mean, before the bean comes completely into effect, we still yeah. have our mobile well, tablets. And you know, Adam, uh, I take this with me. This is my computer when I travel. Mm -hmm. You know, it folds up very, very nicely. It actually, the 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 uh, the holder and the, and the stand is really doubles as your case, so you don't even need a case anymore. You got everything you need. It's, it's really handy. It's upgradable as well with the announcement that's yes. coming out with Windows 10, by the yes, way. That's so exciting. What's new about this new Windows operating system that's coming out is the fact that they've actually announced that there's going to be seven editions. So we've got mobile, we've got desktop, we've got education, and we have professional, right? So what's the main difference about all of these new uh, operating systems is it's a little more secure. It's going to be more seamless with regards to how they interconnect with each other. Windows has been playing a little bit of a catch-up game yeah. uh, in regards to saying, you know, not that they're behind the eight ball in this, but they've had so many additions when they first launched this with platinums and ultimums and premiums and, you know, and all of a sudden it's like, what am I getting? Where am I going? And I think we've had a few tech talks going, I don't even know what it yeah. does. I mean, I'll be honest. The, the case is black and it comes with we something. We need a robot. Yeah, we need a beam support from Microsoft to come in. So it was, what's neat is that they've actually announced that it's going to be coming out in the fall. It's going to be a lot more integrated with a lot of the technology that's out there. What I'm referring to specifically is, you know, we'll be talking about that in a future uh, uh, segment of Tech Talk, but the Internet of Things. Yeah. And Microsoft is very revolutionary. In my opinion, we're going to be talking a lot about what they're doing uh, to be competitive with Google and Apple in the yeah. marketplace because it's very exciting. They're going to be coming out with their software systems. They were the first to come out with software that integrated in the automobile, as you remember by Microsoft yes, Sync. That's right. Yeah. You know what? They're still cutting edge. Now, I'm going to leave also a little tidbit for our future tech talks. Yeah. We'll be talking about the BlackBerry. And remember, we Ooh. have uh, we got some very exciting news to come up with with, with their Internet of Things as as They've coined it. In fact, you know what? When they're the ones that coined the phrase, they know they're ahead of the game, yeah, a, yeah. ahead of everybody else. So John, uh, Ch John Chen has been doing great things at BlackBerry. Amazing things. Yeah. Amazing things. So I'm really excited about you know the fact that there's actually some serious contenders out there between Google, BlackBerry, Apple, and Microsoft. You're yeah. going to see a lot of things happen in the Internet of Things, which we'll talk about in our future uh, episodes Perfect. of uh, Tech Talk. For that, for now, I think we'll let that go, and we'll encourage everyone to check out Cambridge for their new. Um, Microsoft tablet from uh, VIG Computers right here in the city of Cambridge. The brand name is Fila. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you next time.